Hi everybody, I'm Rachel Yoder and today I'd like to talk a little bit about slap tonguing and about how to learn the technique of slap tonguing. Now slap tonguing is a very cool sound that we can make with uh, single reed instruments, clarinets and saxophones, but it's a little bit difficult to learn because the mechanics of it all happen inside the mouth and it just can be kind of hard to figure out exactly how to do it when you're first learning. So uh, there's three steps I think that can be really helpful in learning this technique. Now step one is to find a flat object. It can be a reed. Even better is a piece of glass or plastic like you might use to work on a reed with. And this step is going to actually have you practice grabbing on to an object with your tongue, creating suction and pulling the object down because that's exactly what you do in slap tonguing. So slap tonguing is not just hard tonguing, although sometimes people do that in place of slap tonguing if they can't do it, but it's actually a completely different motion of your tongue from normal tonguing. And the way it starts is by creating suction with the tongue. So your tongue actually is going to pull down from the middle and create suction against the reed, pulling it away from the mouthpiece and allowing it to slap back. And that's what gets the really neat sound of the slap tongue. So your tongue will actually pull away, creating a divot in the middle of the tongue like this. And pulling downwards. So if you're using a piece of glass or plastic, you can actually watch for that and see if you're doing it. And if you're doing it right, you should be able to actually pull against uh, the object that you're holding, you should actually be able to feel your tongue pulling it down. Kind of like a gecko's foot grabbing onto something to climb up. It's very strange, but it can be done. So that's step one, and that might take a few days. You might just want to try it one day, uh, sleep on it, come back, and keep trying until you feel like you really can grab onto it with your tongue. Now step two is to go to the instrument and try it with the reed attached to the instrument, but without forming an embouchure. So uh, with slap tonguing, you do create suction, but it's not like going inside of your mouth and creating the suction inside of your oral cavity. The suction is only created between the tongue and the reed. So you actually should not need to form an embouchure in order to do the correct motion for slap tonguing. So what you want to do is go ahead and anchor your teeth on the mouthpiece, but just don't form your embouchure so that you can really be sure you're doing it correctly. And if you're doing it right, you should hear a thud sort of a sound. It should sound very different from your normal tonguing motion, which would be like this, if you're not forming an embouchure. So once you feel like you've done that, again, it might take a few days uh, to get used to it, then what you can do is go ahead and form your embouchure and do it while blowing a little bit of air through the instrument. I recommend starting on a note that responds easily for you and also starting with uh, perhaps a softer reed that's easier to grab onto and easier to press, press against the mouthpiece and then grab on uh, and pull downwards. So then what you should be able to do is and just work on a single note for a while until you feel like you've really got it. And, and then you can work downwards in the range and upwards and try to make sure you're consistent across the whole range of your instrument. Now two things to keep in mind as you're doing this. Uh, one is that your, uh, you may see a little bit of embouchure motion or jaw motion. You do want to try to keep that to a minimum, but with anchor tonguing, or I'm sorry, with, um, with slap tonguing, you actually can usually see some extra motion than other than what would normally happen when you're tonguing. So don't be too worried if that happens. Of course, try to keep it under control as much as possible. You don't want any more motion than you need. And second of all, if you are a tip-to-tip -tip tonguer, as you should be if you play clarinet especially, um, you may want to try out anchor tonguing in order to feel out the position for slap tonguing. So with uh, normal tip-to-tip -tip or banad tonguing on clarinet, we have the tip of the tongue touching the tip of the reed. 
to just like this, dee, 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 like that. Now with uh, anchor tonguing, you're actually anchoring the tip of your tongue at the bottom of the base of your lower front teeth and tonguing with the middle area of your tongue. T, 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 T. And it is possible to tongue like this. A lot of saxophone players do it. Even some clarinet players do it. And uh, they get along okay by doing that. Um, but it's not really recommended because it can be a little bit slow and more difficult to control. But it can be helpful for learning slap tonguing because it gets you feeling more surface area of your tongue on the reed. It gets your tongue in a slightly more forward position. So if you're having trouble creating that suction, you might try just actually putting more surface area of your tongue on the reed as if you were in an anchor tonguing position. So those are the three steps that I think are really helpful with learning slap tonguing. And uh, good luck. I hope you have success with the technique and feel free to comment and let me know if you have any other ideas for how to learn um, slap tonguing. Thanks.